One of the most rewarding things about chocolate paint is how you can transform any space with little effort and little money into something that really looks amazing. We have used very little paint. A litre of paint covers more or less 8 square metres, the single application. We'll show you step by step how to paint on wall tiles and how to transform laminated or melamine kitchen cover doors into something new. Our first step when we paint on a surface, not knowing whether the surface is grease free or oil free, we rather use thinners to clean the surface properly. So what you need to do is take a cloth, dip it with some thinners and properly clean your surface before you start painting. Once this is done, I'll be waiting for the thinners to dry properly and to evaporate. This takes up to 20 to 30 minutes before I start painting onto the surface. The colour that we are going to use today is Silver Moon on our wall tiles. So first of all, I give the bottle a good shake, unscrew the lid, I dip a clean brush into my paint jar and I paint onto my wall tiles. Next, I'll be using a foam roller and even it out to create a nice and smooth finish while the paint is still wet. So as you can see over here, there are some air bubbles appearing. That's a quite normal process. It's just air from the foam roller being transmitted onto my surface. I just continue to work with the foam roller until those air bubbles disappear completely. While we now wait for our first coat of paint to dry, we will continue with our cover doors. Very important first step again is to use the thinners and clean the surface properly. Once the drying time is done, more or less 20 minutes, we are now ready to apply our very first coat. The colours that I've used in the kitchen are as follows. On the framework, vineyard stone and the doors are painted in sheriff stone. So I paint with my paintbrush nicely and evenly. While the paint is still wet, I'll now smoothen it out with my foam roller. We'll leave this to dry. Depending on the weather, um, it will take up to 20 to 30 minutes for the first coat. We are now going to start with our second coat on the tiles. We are now done with our second and final coat. If the tiles colour were maybe darker, a third coat would be needed. We are back at our kitchen door and we are now going to apply our second coat. My second coat is now complete. If I find that there are imperfections somewhere, I'll just apply a third coat on those areas once my second coat is dry. I'll leave this now to dry and then we'll start with the glazing process. Very important if you want to glaze a surface. You need to wait four hours for the paint to be completely cured and dry 
before you can start applying the glaze. We are now ready for the glazing process. So our glazes come in 250ml jars. This is actually a concentrated sealant. So it has an acrylic component of 95%, which makes your surface very hard wearing. It also makes your surface water resistant and UV resistant. The best and easiest application is when you dilute the product with 30% of water. We advise not to add the water directly in your container as the water will contaminate the content over time. I'm also going to work with a damp cloth. So I dip my cloth in water. Next, I squeeze out most of the water to make sure it's not too damp. I'll be adding now two thirds of glaze to one part water. I'll be now dipping my damp cloth in this mixture and once again my cloth shouldn't be too wet. I also have a paintbrush handy to reach all the detail in the grooves um, where, the, where the cloth can't reach. I work in a well-lit room to make sure that I reach all the areas on my painted surface. This is how easy it is. The most important tip is to make sure that you apply the glaze evenly and that you cover all the areas. And it's done. We'll now continue glazing our wall tiles. Our tiles are now complete. This entire kitchen was revamped using chalk paint, even the fridge. I hope you have fun revamping something in your house with chalk. Visit thehomechannel.co.za for a full list of chalk paint workshops and more. For stockist opportunities, email nadine at chocopaint.co.za. Happy painting! Thank you.